Thank you very much, Brian. We have Dave Skirman from First Ontario Credit Union back for Finance Friday. And we've got some more great viewer questions for you, Dave. So let's get started. Pat from Sault Ste. Marie asks if there's a formula for people on CPP disability when they reach the age of 65. Is it similar to the childbearing formula? Well, uh, Pat, great question. And uh, I think when you mentioned the childbearing formula, you're probably referring to uh, what the CPP calls is the child rearing provision. So uh, it's a little different. Uh, yes, it is a little weird, uh, weird uh, term. We get some laughter here. Uh, we'll probably talk about that on, an, on another segment because it is interesting. Uh, but in terms of uh, CPP uh, disability, um, if you're a Canadian that has uh, you know, worked for a number of years and paid into uh, CPP through your contributions, then you are eligible should you become sick or disabled and not able to work. And generally, that's a long-term thing, so you're probably not going to be able to go back to work, then there is a benefit called CPP disability. Uh, it will kick in until you're 65, and then once you reach, reach age 65, it will turn to regular CPP benefits. Now, if you're 60 when you become disabled and, and you've already started CPP, uh, there is a, a smaller disability benefit that is available to you. Again, that will stop at age 65 when regular CPP kicks in. All right, move on. Nancy says she is close, getting close to retirement and wants to make sure she is investing wisely. She asks, so we have all my investments with one bank or move some to another financial institution like a credit union. Do big banks charge more fees than smaller financial institutions? Well, Nancy, that's, uh, that's kind of you're throwing me a meatball there. I'll try not to swing for the fences on that <laughs> one. Uh, uh, I do have my thoughts on banks. Um, uh, Canadian banks are very strong. Uh, they make a lot of money, and, uh, and that's the reason they're in business. They make a lot of money. And uh, the proof's in the pudding on that one. All you have to do, Adam, is pick up the paper on any given day and check rates, and you're going to find the investment rates, uh, fees and the, at, at one bank versus the other are pretty well the same. So they're not trying to take business from each other because they, they get lots of business. Um, so, Nancy, it's, it's worthwhile to check out rates um, and fees anytime, not just you mentioned you're getting ready for retirement, but, uh, you know, get the best deal you can for your money at any time. Uh, credit unions are owned by the community, they're owned by their members, so their number one reason for existence is not profit. It's service to members and service to community. So generally they do have better investment rates and they do have lower fees. But again, the proof's in the pudding. Uh, check it out and uh, try to get the best deal that you can for yourself. And finally, Patty from Hamilton says, I've been on long-term disability income for most of last year. When I was working, disability premiums were deducted from my pay. Can I claim this deduction to reduce income taxes? Um, again, great question, uh, and many uh, jobs that you have, uh, your employer will have a disability plan at work that uh, the employees will pay some or all of the, of the disability premium. Unfortunately, those premiums are not tax deductible. So Now, there is a thing that uh, if the employee pays 100% of the disability premium, then the benefit should you become disabled is not taxable. Um, so if your employer pays any part of that disability premium, the, the entire benefit, should you become disabled, uh, now becomes taxable. So when you're looking at benefits, who pays for what with your employer and your employee, it's a good idea to try to talk to your employer and say, I will pay all of the disability premium, you pay more of the medical dental, for instance, because it'll help you out if you ever have to draw. All right, good advice. Have a finance question or topic you want to be covered by Dave? Email your question to Dave at Finance Friday at FirstOntario.com or through Twitter at Finance underscore Friday. Now, if your question or topic is selected to be covered on air, you can win a gift card from a local business in your community.